All right, so um, here we got uh, one of our really productive cucumber plants here. It's uh, another heirloom. It's a white cucumber. As you can see, we got tons on here. Uh, and they kind of look like this to start. This is the uh, female flower, and then you want to find yourself a male flower. I'll be telling you guys how today to, to pollinate a, you know, indoor cucumber plant because, uh, you know, we don't have bees in here. I don't open up the doors because the amount of different breeds of plants we have would make it impossible to really get one straight uh, kind of plant. So, you know, I, I basically I find myself a flower. Uh, this one just kind of popped off, so it's actually really good to use. So what I do is I take this flower. This is the male flower. You'll see it doesn't have fruit. You can see the difference between the two here. I take this male flower and I rub this brush. You can buy it at any Target, any store. It's a makeup brush. I just rub it in the male flower here. Um, you get a little bit of pollen. You can't really see it. Uh, and then I take it, and this is the female flower here with the fruit. So I take the brush and I just brush it, you know, vigorously here in the middle. Um, this whole process is moderately sexual, uh, so hide the children. Um, just brush it in here, and uh, you know, a couple days later, you'll you'll start getting fruit. Like we have, uh, I don't know if you can see this from here, but you know, we have like a little cucumber here. This is a tiny one, um, and then you know, here on this vine, just alone, we've got you know, three decent sized white cucumbers. And uh, I believe these are called dragon eggs and they come out uh, looking great. Uh, here's another one we can quickly pollinate. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of white, maybe a fungus growing. That was because there was a lot of moisture on the ground uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, but it should dissipate soon. Um, so I just kind of pollinate and I don't really trim my cucumber plants that much. Kind of let them do their thing and keep growing. You know, they'll, they'll grow all over the place kind of let them grow up the sides here um, you know it's on a line here uh, but you know eventually it gets too long as you can see um, which will probably just wrap it into the ceiling and kind of let it let it keep doing its thing and going as far as it wants to go um, I'll take you guys down and show you how we do the melon plant too really quick and kind of an introduction to that but that's the easiest way to uh, you know, to pollinate your cucumber plants and to get fruit where you don't have bees. All right, so um, here we have an Armenian cucumber plant. I can show you guys another sort of successful pollination in here. This is an Armenian cucumber, uh, and you know, honestly, they grow bigger inside here in this aquaponic system than they do outside. Uh, you know, the pipes fill up with water a little bit and it slowly dissipates because of the root build up here in the in the line. Um, but it's okay as long as you're not overflowing. So we just kind of same idea here, we use the brush. And you can see these have much larger, you know, female plants here. And I believe that these were all successfully pollinated. You know, so they'll start shortly growing into to big cucumbers. Um, and those are a really delicious uh, cucumber. Here we have a melon plant that we just kind of let it grow. Um, we haven't really trimmed it or tried to tame it down. Uh, as you can see, you know, we have probably successful pollination right there. Uh, and it's maybe a little confusing as to what it is, but it's definitely a melon plant. You can see here, here's another breed of melon plant. I'm, I'm not sure which one it is. We'll have to wait and see when it kind of grows up here. Uh, and a little bit larger of a melon over here, which is, is really cool. Um, we hadn't gotten a lot of melons yet. Same idea, you take the brush, you, uh, you know, you find a male flower, rub the brush in the male flower, and then you uh, find yourself a female flower, and you rub it in there, and uh, here, and, and sometimes if I don't get a successful pollination, um, you know, maybe the time passed, is I'll, I'll kind of tear that slowly open, carefully, not to tear off the flower. And I'll, I'll still try and do a, a late pollination there. You know, still make good use of the fruit. Um, and, you know, I've had decent luck and I'm still taking. Um, but, yeah, same idea as a cucumber. Uh, you know, suddenly you get pretty successful melon growth. You know, in here, we've got another decent-sized melon that's starting out. Um, it's pretty awesome. And, uh, 
know, we'll keep updating as they get larger.